Hi Pies fans, we are the team from Lully Tree brought to you by United. Well, team of two today, Pebs. Unfortunately, Cap can't be here. Yeah, so the poll went out during the week and it was, someone must have put Caff and yourself and now he's out. Yeah. But the poll was supposed to be yourself and Gas. Well, I didn't see the poll go up though. Overwhelming response to, uh, to Wagner, 100% of votes saying get him back in. Bad luck, Gast. Kneecapping almost worked, but uh, not quite. Now, Coburg started with real intent on Saturday, but we managed to break him open. Uh, great win, 10 in a row. Tell yeah. us a bit about it, Pebs. Look, Coburg got the uh, first goal on the board and looked very competitive early. And to tell you the truth, I was very competitive for the yeah. whole game, so um, all credit to them. Uh, we kicked seven goals to two in the second term. Um, just to get us going uh, after their huge pressure in the first quarter. It was the second half of that second quarter, wasn't it? It really, really opened them up. Yeah, it did. We just, you know, just consistently got our structures into place and our hardness just uh, got us got us going through that uh, second quarter. Uh, Ox played up forward um, and is looking like a natural forward. Yeah, well, the last, last two weeks he's been here, or was the last three weeks he's played as a forward. Just leads well, marks well, beautiful user of the footy. Just, Great read of the play he is. He, just, he might have found his, his niche there. He's quite a versatile player, so that... That'll definitely stand him in good stead going forward. Our man Kath kicked three goals, played mid forward for majority of the game, and uh, was very handy kicking a couple of go uh, three goals um, for the game. Having and a stellar year, geez, he'd almost be uh, top few in the BNF. And Duke's uh, big Corey Galt uh, kicked three goals as well. As you can see, uh, there's ten goal scorers there again. Wags, and I we're love spreading multiple the load. goal kickers. Um, One thirty-two to sixty-four, and there you can see the uh, the best six players on the ground. Goal take very impressive as we come to the Lully ranking points. Great to see five AFL listed boys there put, putting their names up for selection. Tommy Phillips on top, 139. Jordy Degoe back for his first VFL game, 137. Good to see him respond well. And Tyson Goldsack, geez, he's been in some white hot form down there. Surely putting his hand up for selection this week. Yeah, Goldie was in fantastic form. You know, when you've got a um, a back six of Goldsack, uh, Frost and Tuvi back there. You know, they're very experienced players who provide plenty of leadership and grunt through that, through that back line. Now, Goldie was good, but... But... The big uh, question. Look, Goldie was fantastic for the day, but a guy who is going to be my United Petroleum Player of the Round has been in OK form over the past couple of weeks and he's just been a, a whisker off... Um, just been consistent, uh, getting the consistent four quarters in. But this week he did it, and that's Corey Galt, who... Big jukes. Yeah, he, he has 17 disposals, eight marks, three goals, had a stint in the ruck as well. And uh, look, he if he wasn't marking the ball, he was bringing the, the ball to ground as you want your big players to do. And he had four scoring assists as well, Wag, which is which is huge for a, for a forward as that's well. That's a big scoreboard impact. He's always had great hands. It's great to see him putting some good footy together after a pretty pretty rough start to the year for him with, with his concussion. But um, fantastic to see him playing well, moving well, using it well, and most importantly, he's, he's yeah, as you said, marking the footy, ground level. He's, he's kind of doing it all. So what do you reckon? Is he, is he going to be a chance at senior selection probably over the next three weeks? Oh, look, if he, if he can play some consistent footy, a, a footy over four quarters, he can. He can be a, uh, an option going into the AFL side. But um, look, Corey's just got to get himself right from week to week. Uh, and play four quarters of footy as I've, as I've repeated. But um, he, he's got to carry that form and uh, hopefully he can carry that form into finals. Yeah. As you've seen those highlights, this is ground level work is just so good for a big guy. Just very clean, one touch, both sides of the body, right and left. So it's really good to see him playing some good footy. He's done well. He has done well. Now there's a big crowd down at the, down at the Holden Centre on Saturday. Collingwood Media managed to find three lovely ladies who gave us their fan vote. Three votes that today go number three to Adam Oxley, created great space in the forward line, took some great marks and obviously quite a few goals for the club. Number two was Tyson Goldsack, really strong in the defence line and really good off the wing, carrying the football forward. And Lockie Howe, really strong in the ruck, strong marking and created a lot of uh, opportunities for our forward line. Well, Ox gets the three votes there with his forward line form. Uh, we touched on a bit earlier, but Tyson Goldsack, geez, he's been in good form. On the weekend, he had 27 touches, 19 kicks at 82% disposal efficiency. Obviously, the fans the thought... The fans voted for him. They didn't vote for Goldie Pebs. I've, I could have gone either way. I could have gone with the fans or, or with my own thoughts. And uh, You like the tall forwards, Pebs. I know that about <laughs> you. But uh, It's good to see Goldie going well. We need that... We probably need a bit of that, that class at AFL level with the ball use. I know our ball use wasn't great on Friday night, so 
Goldie might just be able to bring that that element, that kind of polished, composed ball use. So yeah, he could look. He's uh, he's playing some good footy, uh, Goldie. He's done he's done it consistently over the past few weeks. So. Uh, uh, Jared Rivers pr might be a little bit dis disappointed in me not giving him the uh, United Petroleum. He will uh, target you. He will target me. But, yes, uh, he takes it personally. He'll get over. Got to look after him. Yeah. Now, Pebs. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Ladder. Oh Jesus! How can I, how can I work under these conditions? <laughs> well, look at this wow. guy. We're, right? We're flying. <laughs> The, um, look, Willie having a loss on the weekend against uh, Footscray. Footscray are in um, good nick at the moment. They, they, beat, they beat Willie, which uh, is a bit of a favour for us. Fate is uh, in our own hands now, isn't yep. it, Pebs? We Equal can top, top two. Spots with percentage just uh, keeping us in third position. So Monstrous game this week. Probably, probably the game of the year for us versus Port down at Vic Park. Saturday Arvo game, traditional time slot. AFL boys playing Friday night, so... Expecting almost a record crowd at Big Park on Saturday. It'll be an absolute blockbuster. Yep. We beat Port. Pretty much sure of a top four finish. Yep. And if we keep winning, top two. And the world will be our oyster. Port are a very good outfit and coming off a bye. And Airsie will have them pumped this yeah. weekend. Massive game. So Pies fans, get along. Watch the boys. They are flying. They deserve our support. Get along. Huge week, Pebs. Big week. Hopefully Cap can make it back next week, but until then, go VFL Pies! Go Pies!